From the face of the Donbass uprising to the image of the Kremlin's continued crackdown on critics of the special military operation in Ukraine, Igor Strelkov, real name Girkin, was considered untouchable until recently. It all changed after Wagner Group's failed mutiny in June exposed just how big a threat a former high-ranking figure can be. These are people with weapons and connected to people with weapons. And so apparently the order came from the Kremlin, from the presidential administration to crack down, beginning with uh, uh, Mr. Strelkov Girkin, who has been a vocal critic for quite some time. Strelkov became one of the first people placed on the lists of Western sanctions against Russians. This happened after the downing of Malaysia Airlines flight MH17 in July 2014 by a missile over eastern Ukraine. Last year, Strelkov was sentenced to life in absentia by a Dutch court for his alleged involvement as one of the commanders of the local militia. Strelkov's supporters gathered outside a Moscow court calling for his release. He has around a million followers on social media. When Strelkov lost his leadership role in eastern Ukraine, he became a harsh critic not just of the military but of Putin as well. He called his recently formed opposition movement the Club of Angry Patriots. And his supporters believe he is one. This is completely unlawful in my point of view. Now, when the situation develops in a very dramatic way, after the mutiny, when the economic situation started to change, detaining people who support the state, who support the battlefront, is suicidal. For almost a decade, Ukrainians have been calling for Igor Strelkov's arrest. But few believed it would be Igor's former colleagues from the Federal Security Service who would arrest him. Dmitry Medvedenko, Al Jazeera.